when I say nigga, you say nigga is for niggas. When I say nigga, nigga is for niggas. Respect black nigga, nigga, nigga is for niggas. How my black nigga, nigga, nigga is for niggas. How when I say nigga, you say nigga is for niggas. How is that black? When I say nigga. Hey y'all. Welcome to Tea Priestess. I hope y'all are doing lovely and feeling amazing. Okay. This is a Libra Virgo Leo reading. Okay. And I'm getting Taurus, okay? So Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Leo. All right, so we'll see what comes through. I might be adding Aquarius. <laughs> That's, I'm getting Aquarius too. <laughs> okay, I don't know, but death card, okay? All right, so starting off with a big ending, okay? a big ending there has been some type of death there could be a real death okay one-on-one -on -one when i said that there could be uh people are deciding to change uh be different because of some shit. okay knight of pentacles all right i feel like and because of this death it's like new things are about to come through 133 new things are about to come through okay the world i feel like this is really about to change everything like everything is about to be changed okay like I'm not getting in ways right now, but I feel like that's about to come through, okay? King of Wands. And it's like, you gonna be able to look at the things that are changing to 11 and be like, okay, okay. I feel like you're going to feel, I don't know, like, bigger and better and better than ever i don't know because of this change like it's like yeah yeah that shit happened and now i'm like i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's some type of different energy <laughs> it's some type of different energy coming through now okay ten of pentacles look it's like because you know you want your shit you know you want your shit it's like this big death thing is like bringing in like a whole bunch of new like new 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 okay you could be getting like some big money or something from this if not i feel like this is about to or it can be but if it is or not <laughs> then it's bringing in some like a bigger level a bigger status for you okay I feel like people about to be looking at you on like a different level. Like you walk into places, you go places, three, 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 and it's like, they just know that you somebody out here. Even if they don't know about you yet or whatever, they just know that you somebody out here. Okay, three, four, six, H-Town. And so because they know that you somebody out here, it's like, you in a different energy like you just it's a lot of different okay it's a lot of new king of swords okay i feel like you're really gonna feel this change okay like you're really going to feel this like you're gonna wake up and be like oh hell yeah i'm waking up feeling lovely and you're gonna feel that okay king of swords is like
I feel like you know about what happened. You know a lot about why this shit changed, what made these people change, what brought on this change. And because of that, it's like, They owe you some shit. Number three, I'm looking at number three shoes, okay, in that card. And so it's like people are choosing to do something different. They're acting different. They're being different. The energy is changed around you. Okay, I'm getting something that's like, you know, like somebody could be around you that you about to walk into, walk around, something like that interact with in some way they could have like some type of something going on i don't know but some type of something going on okay and it's like your energy the energy that you bring around is like is like ch changing up whatever the fuck was going on with them and as soon as y'all interact, it's like they don't even remember that shit no more. It just leaves their mind. It's like you helping people change their energy because your energy is so high. Ooh, I like that. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Like, it's like you know what you embody. You know what you have inside of you. And so because of that, it's like you could just walk around and just be like, yep. I don't know. I feel like the energy is like, you know, you know, whether you want to think about it like this or not, but it's like, I'm the shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like you just walking around like, yep, I'm the shit. What's up? Yep. I'm the shit. What's up? <laughs> I'm the shit. What's up? Okay. And so you just, it's just like an energy like, yep, I'm the shit. What's up? Five of Pentacles. Look, and it's like, this five of pentacles energy is hold up let me see what five of pentacles is real quick oh my gosh okay five of pentacles is mercury and taurus okay so mercury and taurus is the energy that People have wanted you to embody, okay? They have wanted you to be in this energy of like feeling less than, feeling like you're not the shit, even though they know you, they know that you the shit, okay? They know that. They know that. They really know that. That's the only card that's like a less than card out right now, okay? So they know that. Look, Nine of Cups, they know that shit. They know it. And so since they know it, Jupiter and Pisces, it's like you about to be like, that's why you in that energy. Like, yo, yeah, nah, you know I'm the shit. I'm the shit. What's up? <laughs> I'm the shit. What's up? Okay? It's just like that. Like, don't be out here acting like you don't know what's up. Okay? The Empress, you know what's up. You know what's up. Stop acting. Stop acting like I'm not the shit, okay? <sighs> I feel like this Empress energy, Libra, okay? I feel like all of y'all are out here. I know God threw in the Aquarius. The Aquarius not really here yet, but Libra, the Taurus energy. Uh, who was it? Virgo is out here. Uh... I'm missing one. Leo. Leo not out here yet. Okay. Ace of Swords. All right. So it's like Ace of Swords coming through. God saying, hell yeah, you the shit. Mm -hmm. You the shit. And can't nobody tell you differently. Because you on your shit. You doing your shit. You on the shit that you supposed to be on. <laughs> so you the shit out here. <laughs> okay. Nine of Wands. And it's like, it's like, I feel like you really bossed up. I feel like you really bossed up. You really had to boss up, but you really bossed up. 
Okay, this is a September 2022 reading. <laughs> I know I'm late, but that just came to me. Okay. I don't be knowing until, you know, it might not be, but this, it just came through that this is. Okay. So I feel like this is like past energy. That's why the September 2022 just came through. So now we're going to going, are going to go into uh, what September about to look like for you. Okay. For y'all. And so nine of wands is like, I bossed up out here because I didn't been through all this shit. Okay. So I had to be like, yep, I'm on my shit. Because I done been through all this shit. So you right. If I look like I'm on the shit, my shit. If I'm doing the shit that I'm doing out here and that's on some shit. And if I'm if you know that I'm the shit, <laughs> then just acknowledge that shit, huh? The fuck? Look, eight of cups, move around with that other shit. Like move around with that other shit because I don't have time. I feel like you're making people who don't match your energy, okay? The air conditioner just clicked. Mm -hmm. The people who don't match your energy, the people who, you know, they wouldn't be able to understand your high level energy because they, they not the shit out here. <laughs> they not the shit out here, okay? And so, because they're not on that same level, same energy of energy, they're not on that same level of energy. It's like, you got to leave them alone. Make them go bye-bye. <laughs> be like, go over there. Go over there. Be done. Be done with me. Get, get, move around. Okay? The lovers. Okay? And so I feel like because you are getting rid of these people who don't need to be around you, because they just don't fit into your energy bubble, it's like, the lovers is coming through because somebody is about to enter into your energy that matches, okay? Y'all gonna be matching energy. This is somebody that God been like, mm-hmm, they right for you, mm-hmm. Y'all y'all match. Y'all need to be around each other. Y'all y'all can help each other. Y'all can like, It'll, it'll be real good, okay? It'll be real good, okay? So that's coming through in September, okay? Seven of Wands. I feel like with these other people, you had to, like, defend yourself, fight in whatever ways. Just be like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? Like, the way that they have, and that's a Leo card, Seven of Wands, okay? But it's like, you have been, like, what's wrong with you? Like, why you, why do you act like that? Like, <laughs> what is wrong? We don't match. And you, like, slowly, maybe slowly or fast in some way started to understand this about these people this person and it's just like no i feel like you've slowly been like okay so how do i stop talking to them <coughs> <coughs> the instance is strong okay like you've been like how do i stop talking to them how do i like get them gone because they just they don't do this they don't do what they need to do for me not like that, but they don't do anything for you, okay? And so because they don't do anything, like, them being attached to your energy in any way doesn't do anything for you. And it's like whenever you're attached to somebody on an energetic level or whatever, it's like y'all should be able to feed off of each other. It shouldn't be like a them taking from you or you taking from them it should be like an equal exchange okay and so i feel like there hasn't been a, an equal exchange with whoever these people this person is and so the moon yeah god is slowly revealing things about these people this person maybe you could be revealing some things to them like this is what I don't like about you. 
<laughs> this is how you have made me feel. This is something. Maybe you could also be getting some insight on the real reasons why they wanted to fuck with you. The real reasons as to why they wanted to be attached to your energy. Either this is coming from the divine or this is them telling you straight up in a way where it's like maybe it's like a mistake on their end. It could be like that. Like it could be a mistake on their end. Because the way that I just said that, I was like, why did I just say that? So <laughs> 504, look, it's like they gonna be saying some shit in like a mistaken way. And you're gonna be able to pick that shit up and be like, 1515, oh. Oh, okay. So that's why you wanted to fuck with me. That's why you wanted me around. That's why you wanted whatever. I see. Okay. And so they're going to reveal some shit. You just got to catch it. But I feel like you're going to catch it. The divine going to make you catch it. And this could be somewhere, I don't know, in some way where you can go back and look at that shit. And really read that shit and be like, uh-huh. They really said that. Yeah. You're going to be able to pick that shit up, okay? The star, look. Because you a star out here. That's why they wanted to fuck with you. That's why they wanted you around. They saw that energy. They saw that energy field around you and was like, oh, I need to be in that. I need to be a part of that. I need to be attached to that. Because whoever they're around, whoever they talk to on a regular basis or something, they don't have that. They don't, they don't get that, that level of energy from them. And so that's why they wanted to be attached to you. Because you had this shit. Mm -hmm. Seven of swords, okay? But it's still like, nah, you gotta move around with that shit. <laughs> Cause uh, this ain't an equal exchange. You just wanna take, take, take. You just want to be around me for some reasons that I don't want you around me, okay? So go on, go on, go on over there. Be with them people that don't have my energy, okay? <laughs> go over there, be with them, and leave me alone, okay? 7-Eleven, Nine of Pentacles, come on. And so, it's like as soon as they gone, as soon as they leave your energy, as soon as they know that you are like done, okay? It's like, I feel like God gonna start blessing. <laughs> I don't know, it's something like that. God gonna start blessing. Like, it's almost like as soon as, cause it came out like as soon as they gone. As soon as, so like Nine of Pentacles, it's like as soon as they are gone, like they know in their minds that they cannot fuck with you anymore, God gonna be blessing. God gonna start dropping blessings, okay? And you're going to be able to be like, but I also feel like outside of dropping blessings, you're just really going to be able to look around and be like, yeah, I know why you was around me, why you wanted to fuck with me, because I'm the shit. I'm the shit. Yes, I am. Yep. And so that's why you wanted to be around me. And so I get it. However, you're gone. Bye. <laughs> The higher fun. Look, God coming through saying, mm hmm you the shit. Okay, you the shit. Come on now. And so because you the shit, that's why God gonna be not only revealing these people, making them reveal themselves, but also showing you how you the shit out here. And this can come in a few different ways. Like, you could be getting... If you're online, you know, new uh, people coming your way or people coming your way or the people that are already there, just having a bigger emphasis on like making sure that they pay attention to you, uh, seeing what's up with you, okay? 
being like, oh, I need to, I need to check them out. I need to see what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. It's your energy is like making people want to see you, want to admire you, want to be inspired by you. Okay. I feel like whenever you go places, you're inspiring people. You are like, if you're having conversations with people, if you're you know, just interacting with people. Like you're, whatever's coming out, however you're saying this, is like y'all interaction is very inspiring in some way. It's very uh, making them think about some shit. Be like, oh, like maybe you give them some information that they didn't know about. Maybe uh, you're passing on some knowledge, okay? Um, you're giving them things to like, look up look at pay attention to things like that and so it's like very interactive it's very 2020 it's very i don't know what the word is but y'all are equal exchanging i don't know it's not just take 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 it's like you're helping people you're inspiring inspiration is is really coming in right now because you're in this, yes, I'm the shit energy, but it's also very inspiring. I also feel like you're not walking around as if it's like, yeah, I'm the shit. Like, cause that's a whole like, you know, ego driven and uh, ego, like the way that you walk, the way that you talk to people, the way that you do things, you're not coming off like that, but it's like, they leave you and they gonna be like, they the shit. <laughs> they the shit. I fuck with them, they the shit, okay? Because of how you came off without even, it's like you talking about yourself, you talking about the things that you're doing, want to do, will be doing, but you're coming off in a way where it's like, you not even talking about yourself. You're, you're like, Oh yeah, I'm I'm doing this. I do that. You know, I I've, I've been there, done that. <laughs> but it's just whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. That reminds me of Taurus. I did a Taurus reading last year, and I did a little snippet of that this like a a few weeks ago or whatever. But it's like Taurus gonna be on some energy where it's like this is all y'all. But in that reading, it's like. Taurus was on some energy where it was like maybe this was a December a December or November reading but it's like like you're gonna be fucking with like interacting with like celebrities okay people who have like big positions out here people who you know you can look at them and you know that they do a whole lot or whatever out here and it's just like yeah yeah I fuck with them they fuck with me it's whatever <laughs> it's whatever like yeah they know me yeah you know it's just like <laughs> it's just like that be like yeah it's whatever like Taurus was just like on a it's oh okay so they know me we know each other we can have conversations oh okay it's whatever like it's not like a big hype it's not like a it's not like a nothing because it's just like oh it's whatever it's whatever and so I feel like that's the energy that y'all in. It's just like a, it's whatever about yourself because you know that you have all of this energy, this big ass energy, but it's like, you not walking in the door. It's like they see the energy, feel the energy before you even say anything. They see the energy, feel the energy before you even like, like just like open up in any way it's just like there and so that's why they know even before they interact with you that you somebody mm -hmm. nine of swords okay and i feel like people don't like this there are certain people that do not like this this way of you having this energy this you know the way that you interact with people they just really don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it, but I also feel like they're watching you or something very hard. They're paying attention to you in some way very hard. And so they just do not like it and it makes them sad. Like, 
because these are the people that that didn't want you to be in this energy that didn't want you to embody this okay but it's like fuck them people it's just like that fuck them people because who are they they're sad and mad and feeling ways because they don't have that inside of themselves they don't carry this big ass energy and so because they don't carry this big ass energy it's like they're looking it's in some way you're making them look at themselves and be like well, why don't I have this big ass energy? <laughs> Where my energy at? <laughs> Where is my energy? Because I don't have that. I don't have that. <sighs> Knight of Swords, okay? And so you might get people, you might get some people where they are, you know, trying to come at you in ways. They could be trying to tell you what's up you know just really like trying really trying in some ways like really trying you however i just feel like it's not gonna work it's really not gonna work because you got the big ass star energy and they don't <laughs> they don't they're not you the hangman that's why you're going to be having people really thinking about some shit out here, okay? Like, who am I? <laughs> what am I doing out here? <laughs> I don't know. You're really going to have people thinking about themselves internally because your energy is so big and so strong out here. You just got people paying attention to you and, you know, these people are on big platforms and shit and it's like, what's up? It don't bother you for people, whoever these people are, they would get like really, really, really excited. They would like do something to fuck up this connection in whatever ways. They would do something to fuck up this connection because they would get so excited, 629 on God. And so because they would do something to fuck up this energy, it's like, that's why it's not them. That's why it's not them. And so they also like, well, why not me? <laughs> why, why, why people not paying attention to me like that? Why people not, you know, admiring me, being inspired by me? And it's like, okay, but where is your energy? <laughs> where is your energy, ho? Like the fuck? <laughs> Eight of Swords. Look, it's like reversed. <sighs> I feel like I'm just I, okay so if at any point in time throughout the month people start to make you feel ways about who you are how you are out here you can be able to wiggle through that shit okay just be able to to be like nah Nah, you can't make me feel no ways about myself, ho. You can't make me feel no ways about myself. Like, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Is it just like that? Ten of swords, okay? Like, nah, you can't make me feel no ways because you don't know what I have been through, okay? You don't know what I have been through and what I've had to wiggle myself out before. Like, whatever they're doing is small. Whatever they're saying, whatever they're doing, it's small in comparison to what you have been through in life. Okay, and so it's like they're trying to come at you in ways where it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna say this, and then that's gonna get to them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this, and that's gonna get to them. No, I also feel like you're gonna have some type of comeback. Okay, you're gonna have some type of comeback, and or comebacks, and they're gonna be like, oh, 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 I shouldn't have said that shit. I shouldn't have made them think anyways or try to make them think in any ways because the way that they coming at me <laughs> the way that you're gonna be coming back at them it's just like oh no i shouldn't have did that i shouldn't have did that because you're gonna make them feel some ways and then they're gonna be like oh um, oh i shouldn't have i shouldn't have did that i shouldn't have said that i shouldn't have i shouldn't have did that Cause now I'm thinking about what I said. 
<laughs> and whatever they said, it's like, I feel like it's something that they're projecting in some way also. And so whatever it is, it's like their projection is something that relates to them. And so they think about it in a way where it's like introspective. Look, it's like your comebacks is going to make them think about themselves. Either way, they think about themselves, okay? Like, don't come at me because I can make you come at yourself, ho. <laughs> don't come at me because I can make you come at yourself, ho. Look, nine of cups. It's like, whatever they say, it's going to be coming right back to them. And they're not going to like that. <laughs> they're not going to like that. Look, three of swords, and that's when they're going to be like, oh, well, I shouldn't have said that. They could be apologizing in some ways, like, hey, you know, I, I'm i sorry I said that. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't really mean to say that. I shouldn't have said that. You know, in whatever way they're trying to apologize, they're going to be really trying because it made them think about some shit. Because mm -hmm. they really tried you, okay? Look, temperance. And overall, it's like, uh, you're just really going to be out here like, Filling yourself up. Filling yourself up and that's why they mad. Because you fill yourself up in ways that they can't. In ways that... 346 H-Town. In ways that... They wish that they could. So ultimately, it's like you're still... You're helping these people, this person. You're really helping them. They just didn't know that she was going to help them. Seven of Cups on the bottom. Okay. It's like... You can have people really confused <laughs> in a lot of ways. Like, really confused. These are the people who want you to be in a different energy they're going to be very confused because it's like they can't change your energy because again when you walk into a room when you step foot in the door it's just like people know you there you you have a loud energy without you being loud and so because of that it's like oh no you can't change that no nah. <laughs> the fuck you don't know what, what it took for me to get this energy, huh? You don't know what it took to get here. Don't be trying to change my energy because I'm going to change yours before you change mine, okay? Look, on the back, Queen of Cups, yep, you feeling good. You feeling great and you feeling amazing. And... In ways, I feel like by the end of September, you really just going to be like, I'm that nigga. If you're not a nigga, don't say niggas. Nigga is for niggas, okay? But you that person, okay? And so because of that, it's like, they can't fuck with you. <laughs> they can't fuck with you. Four of swords in the middle. That's why you got people thinking. They like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. So I can't get to them in those ways. I can't get to them in any way. I guess I might as well just stop. <laughs> I guess I might as well just stop. I feel like by the end of September, you would have made people respect you. And I feel like respect you in very large ways, very big ways, very inspiring ways because they're looking at you and they're just inspired it's like it's like all the things that you have been through have built up this i'm the shit energy and that's why people can't stop it because it's like if you only knew what i've been through ho what i had to go through to get to this energy and you went through that shit. I just think that you would be in this energy too. So respect that shit. Respect it fully. Okay? Respect it. Because it's not going to change. 
not expected okay i feel like the music keeps going off and i'm trying to turn it back on but every time it goes off so it's like the divine don't want no music right now <laughs> i'm gonna just keep it off okay but not expected is like i feel like people don't expect they're not expecting this energy that you're coming through with they're not expecting you to have such a big energy okay it's just like they're not expecting for you to step foot in the dough and fuck it up without even opening your mouth okay they're not expecting that hi okay i feel like you're also not expecting some of the things or all of the things that god got planned for you and coming for you okay i feel like you're in this high energy you above all this shit. like whatever they're doing these people that want to you know bring you down it's like they're down there <laughs> They're down there. They're not up there with you. They're not on this highly elevated level. And so it's like, that's why they can't understand. But it's also like, don't try to bring me down there with you, ho. The fuck? You elevate yourself. I'm not going down for you. Look, nope. I'm not going down for you. Okay? So you elevate yourself. And then we can talk six okay you're getting some big love out here like outside of them people you really get getting some big love out here i feel like you're really about to feel that understand that and know that and see it okay you're getting some big love out here dead and gone that was the first card with the death card i feel like the way that people we're trying to come at you is just gonna be done like they have no choice but to end that shit and not be on some i'm trying to bring you down shit because that ain't gonna work streaming uphill i feel like these people or okay not people but people keep coming in but I feel like you really have been on an uphill battle, just streaming and trying to fight the water without being pulled back down, okay? And you just keep going and going and going uphill. That's why you above this shit, cause it's like, I done been fighting out here. Like it took me a lot to get up here and you want me to go back down there with you? No, how about you, you get yourself up here? You get yourself up here because I'm not going back down there with you. Look, wow. Okay? And that's why people are like, wow. That's really them. That's really who they are. That's really how they be out here. <laughs> that's really whatever. People are very much wowed by you in ways that you may know or may maybe not. But they are very, you're very inspirational, okay? Drink some tea and you're making people calm down, okay? Like, calm down with that shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look, confirmation. Come on now. You're making people calm down. Because they was really trying to bring you down. And it's like, no. No, I'm not doing that. No. Look, ah. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, ah. Uh, I can't bring them down here with me. But I really was trying. I really was. I feel like they was really trying. Have been really trying. Will be really trying. Uh, Before you just tell them to stop. And they really stop. In whatever ways that you get them to calm down and stop. I feel like they really have been trying to like get you involved in shit, pull you into shit, uh, start conversations with you that's just like, what, what, <laughs> what, 
why would you why would you bring that up why would you want me to talk about that why would you just why and so they really gonna be like ah i can't do it i can't do it <laughs> i can't do it divine feminine okay i feel like no matter what your gender is you are in the energy that you're embodying because you're not like you're out here you're on your shit you are the shit but it's in a way where it's like yes i know i'm the shit yes yes i know i'm the shit it's very divine feminine like okay it's very i don't have to put it out there that i'm the shit but we can talk about what i do we can talk about you know how i do it and then you're gonna take from that conversation about knowing for me that i'm the shit <laughs> and so that's it and so you don't have to like put it out there in big full ways because again that's ego you don't be in your ego because the ego i feel like for y'all within this reading, the ego is done. You've been out of like ego shit for a very long time. The green light, God is confirming, okay? You have been out of ego shit for a very long time. You don't do ego. Ego is like small. Ego is like, ugh. <laughs> ego is yucky, okay? Like get out of that because ego does a whole lot. And so you're past that ego shit. Ego is divine masculine, and I'm very serious. Ego is divine masculine shit. Divine feminine shit is very not ego. You're not in your ego if you're divine, embodying your divine feminine, no matter what gender you are, again. And so it's like you're very in that energy where it's like, I know I'm the shit without being in an ego way of putting it out there. You just embody the things that you are. You don't have to talk about shit. You talk about shit if somebody like brings it up in a conversation or somebody says some shit, but you don't like have to put yourself out there like on some ego shit. I don't know, something like that. But if you want to, you can, okay? Like, that's, that's a difference. Like, if you want to, you can, but you don't go around like, yeah, yeah, I do this. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> that's divine masculine ego shit. Like, yeah, see me. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm here. Yeah, you know what's up. And so it's like always announcing yourself, always like, just making a big noise about about shit and it's like no calm down calm down i feel like whoever these people are that do that you're making them calm down about that shit like you know you don't have to do all that right just let your energy speak for itself and your energy speaks for itself that's why they wanted you to like change they gonna want you to change but it's like nah Calm down with that shit. Calm down, okay? I feel like it got really quiet in here for some reason. Whenever I was like, calm down. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it did. Like, for a second, there was no cars. I didn't hear no cars. I didn't hear the air. I didn't hear nothing. You really making them calm down, okay? Coming down, man. Look, they coming down. They coming down. Just like that. Just like that. Like, you have done it. By the end of September, you really would have done some shit. You really would have put yourself out there in a way where it's like, look. I, yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm doing that. Yes, I'm doing this. But either you know about me or you don't. If you know about me, then you just know about me. But I'm not like you know, overtly out here, just putting myself out there. It's just people are learning about you very organically, okay? Also at the same time, people are learning about what you do, how you do it 
uh, things like that very organically. And I feel like that right there is going to be something different that people don't, they're not used to. Like, it's very organic. It's very, have you heard? I don't know. I feel like, I don't know why that just came up like this. <laughs> I feel like people might be like, have you heard? Have you heard about them? Do you know what they do? Do you know who they are? Have you heard? I don't know. People are gonna be talking about you. Look, love it, okay? Cause they love what you do. They love how you do it. They love you. I said you're gonna be getting a lot of love. They love you, okay? Like whatever you're doing out here, like they really fuck with you, okay? You said no, huh? Now what? And look, all these people who was like, nah, 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 we don't fuck with them. <laughs> who is them? We don't fuck with them. They like, they said, they said no out here. And so now it's like, the divine is like, mm -hmm, now what? What you got to say? What you got to say? I feel like by the end of September, your name, your brand, your, the things that you do out here would have spread a lot more. Maybe in ways that you know, don't know about. But people are really going to be talking, spreading you out organic mm -hmm. i feel like that was in a that same taurus reading maybe where it was like taurus was you know known by people you know with big platforms and shit whatever and i feel like people maybe that's a cap cap reading but it's like people are going to be like Spreading you out very organically. Mm -hmm. And so that's why people come in your way because it's like, have you heard? You got to watch them. You got to listen to them. You got to pay attention to them because they on, they on their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go pay attention to them. Go go follow them. Go subscribe. Go, go watch them. Go look at them. Go... Go whatever, whatever you're doing out here, they're going to be coming because somebody else told them about you. Okay? Look, change the establishment. Okay. I feel like you are out here doing some big things. I mean, like, I know we was talking about you was doing some big things, but with this card right here, change the establishment. I feel like you are not only changing like people's minds, people's energy, but you're changing some big shit, company, fucking institution, something in some way, some department, something like that. Yeah. And that just came out out of nowhere. That just came out out of nowhere. <laughs> like, that just came out out of nowhere. I feel like you understanding this, having this understanding that you're changing, like, big, big, big ways of thinking on, like, a very large level, on an institutional basis, on a company level, on a department, company level, whatever the fuck, school level, something like that. You're really doing like some big shit like that. And I feel like that's going to be a surprise for you. I don't know why that just came out like that. <laughs> Hush, okay? And you so fine, okay? Hmm. I feel like maybe throughout the month or whatever, you could be talking about some things that people don't want you to talk about, okay? You could be talking about some things that people don't want you to talk about. And these could be very big things. And because they don't want you to talk about this shit, look, I'm gonna make this music play, play, okay? Okay. So it's like, because you're talking about these big things, 
I don't know, I feel like people want you to hush. Because whatever you say, it's like you can be saying some big shit. I don't know, in some ways. Excuse me, you can be saying some big shit. And after you say that shit, people gonna be like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They should not have said that. Why did they say that? Why they say that? That's some big shit. Cause it's like either it's making them think about some shit, it's gonna make them own up to some shit, it's gonna make them acknowledge some shit, it's making them do something where it's like, oh no, <laughs> why they say that? Why they say that? Now we gotta do something about what they said. Now we have to do something about what they said. And so whatever this is. It's like you changing the establishment by this big shit that you saying, okay? Like, <laughs> I don't think they are ready. <laughs> I don't think that they are ready for this. I don't think they are ready, but you are. But they not ready for this, okay? Look, fuck it up, come on now, say that shit. Say it just like that. However it comes out, however you say that shit, say it, okay? Say it, cause it's like, What's up? Because I feel like it's something where it needs to be said. It's something that people be avoiding talking about. It's something that people be, they might be acting like they be talking about it, but they be skirting around it. The air conditioner just clicked, okay? And so because they be skirting around the shit, it's like you gonna jump in that shit and be like, well, this this is what I'm saying and this would need to be said. <laughs> and so because I'm saying it, I'm making sure all y'all know exactly what I'm saying. I'm making sure all y'all know exactly what I'm saying and this is the thing that y'all been avoiding talking about. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And that's why they gonna be like, uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh. I know they did not just say that. <laughs> I know they did not just say that, but you said it, you gonna say it, okay? Either you said it already or you gonna say it, but it's said, it's going to be said, it's out there, okay? And they can't do shit about it because it's out there. What's up? <laughs> Look, weed, okay? You could be getting some weed, okay? And maybe it's like you've been on some level of like, I don't know, maybe you haven't had none. Like I know for me personally, <laughs> I haven't had any in like a very long time. And so, uh, you know, I've just been like, okay, well I guess I'm not gonna get none no more right now or for a while, you know, just kind of giving up on it. But I feel like God got some plans with some weed for, coming for you. Okay, green light. Mm -hmm. God got some weed plants coming for you, okay? So if you've been like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill on the weed. <laughs> I'ma just chill, you know. But you've been like, man, but I wish I could smoke a blunt. <laughs> I wish I could smoke a blunt. God got some blunts coming for you, okay? God has got some blunts coming for you. And so, you know, just be ready for that. Mm-hmm, be ready. Be ready for the weed. Look, cause you're doing big things out here. So God wants you to enjoy yourself. Turn up, okay? Chill out. It make you do all that. Cause look, tumultuous, okay? It's like, because you're making people calm down, God wants you to calm down. Because they wanted some tumultuous things, green light. They wanted some tumultuous things for you. Put you in some tumultuous things you out here talking about some big tumultuous things and so to get your mind off of this big shit it's like <coughs> mm. that's why god wants you to come be coming into contact again with some weed okay something like that and i feel like this shit gonna be a one okay like for real for real like oh you gonna smoke that blunt for the first time again and it's gonna be like oh damn <laughs> 
like I just got like you know somebody taking a a, a, a a puff for like the first time and they haven't smoked in a while and you know you get like you might have some strong coughs or whatever but then that shit hit in so good and you like oh hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah I miss this shit okay hell yeah hopes and dreams okay <sighs> I feel like this month is about you really pursuing your hopes and dreams you talking and discussing about your hopes and dreams, people knowing about your hopes and dreams, and also you like being in that shit. I feel like by the end of the month, you're going to see how you might already see now, but by the end of the month fully, you're really going to see how you're in a level of your hopes and dreams whatever that is for you okay look hey okay and somebody gonna be coming through and being like hey look and i just look down at the confirmation card confirmation somebody gonna be like hey what's up mm -hmm. i just got something about the weekend somebody could you could be meeting somebody new somebody somebody could be coming towards you over the weekend or y'all could be running into each other meeting each other smoking a blunt together for the first time over the weekend a weekend this weekend some weekend within this month okay emphasis i feel like they really gonna emphasize like y'all really gonna be matching up together yeah i said that like god gonna really have somebody that's like oh yeah y'all 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 really match up mm -hmm. and so it's really gonna be an emphasis on each other and it's gonna be like you protected in this hoe uh, overall, okay? Like you are protected in this hoe. Look, it's changing, believe that, okay? Believe that. Well, yeah, at the beginning. And that's the last card. And it started off with death on the first card. So yes, things are really changing out here like good good levels for you bad people bad bad levels for bad people <laughs> or bad things for are happening to other people um this is dope look this how people gonna be looking at your shit looking at you be like that's dope you dope they listening to your shit and it's like this is dope okay do that shit look people is doing some different shit whatever you're doing out here 73 713h town god like hell yeah do that shit say that shit <laughs> call that shit out say that mm -hmm. look that's why it's like confirmation say that shit um <clears throat> where you been at okay you could be coming into contact with somebody that because it is mercury retrograde or whatever right now so people who you used to know or whatever could be coming back towards you. And you know, y'all having conversations, catching up, you know, shit like that. And it's like, where you been at? And y'all talking about some shit like, oh yeah, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, you know. I've been here, I've been there. I done been through whatever. You know, something like that. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more from that card, but also at the same time, I'm not. But it's like, I feel like with the where you've been at, I don't know. I don't know. But people could be like, making things seem better than what they are. Mm, for them. Maybe not, but maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Keeping it cute. And I feel like just with everything, you're just gonna be keeping it cute like throughout the whole month like it's just cute real cute for you okay the fuck go outside okay because you making people move around with that shit and that's why they like the fuck like i can't fuck with you what you mean and you like no move around with that shit go outside okay boo bye 
nah, 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 nah. And they gonna be like, nah, 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 nah. I still wanna fuck with you. And it's like, no, pass along. You passing them along. <laughs> you passing them along. What's up, okay? This, that new person coming through. It's like, cause you gotta get rid of these old people. You gotta get rid of these people. So that way this new person can come through, okay? Seven, that's exactly it. You gotta get rid of these old people so that way this new person can come in and you don't have to be worried about these other people coming to be involved with your energy. And you could just focus on this new energy, okay? Why would you think that? Like, why would you think that I still wanna fuck with you? <laughs> Love, okay? Look, they're gonna be low key out here. I feel like you're gonna be real low key or have been real low key also throughout the month. Like, it's like, if people see you, they see you. If they don't, they don't. If people know about you, they know about you. If they don't, they don't. But I feel like they do know about you, but they, they know that you real low key in some way. Cause they see you, but they don't. I don't know, something like that. It's like, they see you, but they don't. And so it's like, you saw them? <laughs> That's them. <laughs> but then it's like, but, but I don't see them no more. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so you real like low key out here, okay? Expect the unexpected. Um, expect the unexpected, okay? And that's on some Libra shit. All of y'all really came out and, you know, like the divine included Aquarius in here too. So, yeah, everybody really came out. So, y'all really out here, but like real low key with it. Real low key, but real out here at the same time telling people about themselves, but also maintaining your cute ass energy and being like, but look, calm down, <laughs> calm down, okay? You on your shit, you the shit, and expect the unexpected for what God got coming for you because it's like, God got some big things for you like throughout the whole month of September, okay? By the end of, look, I just heard a, a car just speeding or a bicycle something like that a, a motorcycle whatever that was it was like speeding through so it's like god got some shit coming at you fast it's gonna be coming at you in a way where it's like oh shit what uh what <laughs> what i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm here i'm there i'm getting this i'm getting that what yes expect the unexpected because god got some shit planned for you and i feel like this is because of this big ass energy it could be because of these big ass talks that you're making people have also at the same time um like something with that like whatever you're making people look at acknowledge like talk about think about it's like that's where the real big thing it's like that's going to spur some other shit. Green light. Like, that's going to spur some other shit. I don't know. Like, I'm seeing a whole panel right now. You could be asked to talk on a panel. You could be... Um, people could want to talk to you about some shit, interview you. I don't know. Something like that. They could really want you to talk out here about some shit. About whatever this big thing is. I don't know. People could see you in a, a bigger light because you brought up some shit like that and you wasn't scared. You're not going to be scared to bring up some shit like that. Whatever this is, it's really going to be something where it's like people were really scared to talk about it and you have no problems talking about this shit at all. Like at all. I feel like it's in you to talk about this shit. And so because it's in you to talk about this shit, I feel like it makes you excited. <laughs> I feel like it makes you excited and it's like they see the excitement in you in whatever ways, even if it could be like a big ass topic that's like real hard to talk about. It makes you excited to talk about it at the same time because it's like, you know, it's some shit that people don't talk about. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. But it's like Knight of Cups, like you're going to be bringing them some shit to think about, talk about understand differently than what they understood about it before mm -hmm. something like that 
That's it. It's gonna be a big, a big reveal and a big surprise for these people. <laughs> and that's why they're gonna be like, oh, they really said that. They really said that. They really said that. <laughs> and they're gonna be real surprised. Like, oh, oh wow. They go there. They go there. Like we just took it to this point. But they go all the way over there. Mm-hmm. That's it. So yeah. I really hope this helps y'all. I really love y'all. I appreciate you for coming through. Remember, nigga is for niggas, okay? Check the description box, y'all. I'm out this hoe. Bye. When I say nigga, you say nigga is for niggas. When I say nigga, nigga is for niggas. Respect black nigga, nigga, nigga is for niggas. Hope my black nigga.